everybody. Look what Mike is up to out here. That's right. He's making slide-out shelves for our pantry. Yes, lots of them. Very nice. With a, what is that, a three-inch edge? Uh, two and a half inch, plus we just we just took the stuff on the bottom because it's hidden behind everything. So now we need our sliders. Okay, so show us how you do this now. You set the boards up as spacers. Yeah, for the bottom one here, because I can't use my Craig ones because these are it's up against the wall, so it doesn't work oh. so well. So we just use the uh, one by three three quarter inch piece of wood underneath, and then. Attach it with that. So these things close right to the edge of this thing, the drawer does. So if you set it right to the edge or past the edge, obviously this won't close. So I set it back a little bit. Now this piece of wood is actually set back the distance I need it to be. So I'll do it like that. And how do you know where the screw holes are? You have to find them. Yeah, you cannot find them. There are, there's a whole bunch of them, but when you pull this out, there they are. There we go. Perfect. Now, these out now. The best way for this to work, so to waste, not waste vertical room, is to use something nice and thin right there. Oh, another different spacer. Yeah. Okay, so another very thin spacer at the bottom of this. If I can get one screw in this other side. You might have to take the cupboard door off. Yeah. Might have to. Seems reasonable. Yeah. This might be a little bit wide for this though. We might have made this just a scotch too big. Uh oh. Wait, why are you doing that? They just pop off. Oh yeah. I forgot about that part. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> You're ready to just take that sucker apart. I was. Ow. Baby. There, much easier. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Cool, huh? I can't believe that totally worked. <laughs> this was made of metal? Like I had to start over again. Yep. There's You're no right tool about for that. that. Now that goes in there perfectly. Excellent. So but we definitely need to use these big thick ones for this. Once again, we just there's, need something thinner. There's a small piece of this. Once again our Leftover luxury vinyl flooring is becoming the spacer for these slide outs. Correct. Oh, you're taking it, taking it out to get the last one in, huh? Right. 
cool how all of our hardware comes apart, huh? The yeah. hinges and the sliders. It's pretty handy. Very nice. Okay. I like it. <laughs> it's really going to make it nice for finding stuff in the back. I know. Okay, so we're going to make another one of these. Let's measure, shall we? Yes, let's measure very carefully. 17 and 3 sixteenths is really what we're after. I know you're trying your best to hold on to what you believe in, what makes you strong. Mirrors are lying. Pictures can be fake. I know you better than anyone else. Got this feeling lately that you are drowning, maybe. But all the world is crazy, they don't know a thing. One love, that's all you need to be everything you want to be. All the Good, huh? Very good. Really like that. Yeah. God, we got a lot of cabinet space now. It just seems luxurious. Yeah. Like you easily fit like big boxes of cereal in there. Open hey, it up, take it out. Let's put the cover back on and make sure it slides past it. Probably a good idea. It doesn't slide past it. Just watch me break down and cry. I know, huh? Good news is, is that's how I built it. So. Covered shuts. That's good news. Yep. They totally work. Okay, this is only because Mike added a little spacer. See the little piece of wood in the back edge here? If he had attached it to the back wall, it never would have passed the cupboard. Yeah, and that's standard. That's a very normal thing to do when you're building right. uh, stuff like slide outs like this. Um, so on this side, it's just attached right to the wall. But then on this side, it has its little spacer to make it this cupboard door. Perfect. I like that. We're just going to be able to get to things back here that I know because yeah, you're you like come coming inside. Because you're going to come out, you're going to be standing like, you're going to come like this. Slide it out and grab right there from the side. Yeah. We should put another one like right here and make this like our canned food aisle. Or this one. Or if we put another one right here. I think it'll just get too crowded. But I don't think it will because we don't have that many tall things. So if we just filled this full of canned food, we just wasted like this much space up here. Right, but we don't buy that much canned food. Well, we haven't lived in a bus before either. I think it's a good idea. That means everything higher than a couple of inches is going to have to be all up here. Or, or down, down here. There. Now we can add it later.
going on over here? I crazy. Affirmative on the crazy? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I knew it! Yes! This is a moment of victory for me. How are you going to hold that up there? Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to put one in. I'm just going to put it in right along that line right there. All right, hold this thing up for me. Okay. On the front and the back. Oh. Nothing's holding this up. Excellent. Right, just gotta put the last screws on both sides of these. Man, we have so much space in our pantry. I love it. Me too. Dude, this is great. I mean that door. They still work past the door. Close test works. Open test works. Very nice. Very yeah, nice work, my honey. Yeah, you got those awesome. like awesome. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot as of far space. storage goes for pantry stuff. Like I have, that's to, a lot. I have to back up to even fit it all in the camera frame at once. This is our pantry. I really like it. <laughs> it's not as big as what we currently have, but it's close. That's because the house we currently have was built by an LDS man who built space for their whatever, however oh, yeah. many years storage. Right. That's going to be so cool for like me and my bad back, you know. Like, what's in there? Oh, oh, there's my SpaghettiOs. Whatever. As if you eat SpaghettiOs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So all the things are coming together now. It's nice to knock out projects like that one. That one's a little bit labor intensive to do. And then being on the floor and kneeling down, all that stuff kind of sucks. But... Still, though, I think you got the whole thing done in barely a couple hours. Yeah. Good work. Yeah, man. Getting ready for COVID-19. She's got her gloves on. Gloved up for sure. Yeah, because this wood could be from China and you just can't take any chances. <laughs> from Wuhan. The, from the China tree? Could be from, yeah, from the China tree in China. Where's the... It's over here with the broken lawnmower. Ah. Super finder! Don't be taking my title. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we have a reversal of roles right now. Yeah. Whoever is the camera holder is also the super finder. Well, pretty much. That's how it works. Okay. Oh, look at how pretty that is. I gotta do some carry filming. <sighs> there we go. I so don't film from the chair. You're full of malarkey. Oh, look at this angle. It's so perfect. Right? You can't see nothing. <laughs> I'm seeing everything I need to see right now. Me working and you sitting. Mm -hmm. It's just smoking. I see you are. Smoking hot girl. Rubbing stain, on, rubbing stain on a piece of wood. Everything. Hey, this is on YouTube. I'm already done. It's taking you forever. Because I'm doing good work. Uh huh. Look, you missed a spot over here. Where? Turn it over here. It looks pretty light right here. I think, I think that's just how it is. What about right here? What's that's a, that? That's a fingerprint that you said wipes off when you do your job. Fine. Start doing your job and quit complaining about mine, mister. You're messing up the whole bus. We're going to have to start over. All right, throw this one away. 
That's it, folks. We have to start from scratch with the new bus all over again. So I messed up the trim. Yep, she messed up the trim. We have to let the bus go. Anybody want it for a dollar? Don't even kid with that. <laughs> you missed spot. No, there yet. Is this, are we done staining for the day? I think we are. I think so too. Then I'll demonstrate proper technique for glove removal. Turn this glove inside out on the way out and then hold it in this hand. Stick your finger into the clean side. Ta-da! Oh, I'm not good at that part. <laughs> it was like three feet. <laughs> okay, so I missed the filming of putting in all this whole piece of trim. And now he's doing the vertical ones. But look how good it looks. With the trim and the trim and the trim. These aren't attached yet, don't be fooled. They're just in place because we're excited. If you did it all the way up, it would cover that uneven spot. I like that, let's do that. Yeah. That, this piece just sticks up a little bit from the other. That's pretty good. Yeah, really nice. I think that's a better idea than to go all the way. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Okay, that couldn't be any better. That looks great. Very nice. All that right. trim is done. All that trim is done. All that trim is done. Looking pretty good. I'll go here. get the washers. Oh, the brass washers? Yeah, because they're in the mailbox. Look what we got in the mail. Dun, 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 dun. Uh -huh. We have bags and bags of handles, you guys. We got some of these. We got some of these. And we got some of these. These are way way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Those are pretty big. They're I literally big. don't even like them. Really? Really. It's not what I had in mind. I had in mind antique glass knobs and these are ginormous. Almost like doorknobs. And they're not what I was thinking. Hmm. I'll just have to give it some time to see how I feel about those. Oh my gosh, they're just doing them by hand. This is how we used to have to do it. Back in the ancient olden days. In the olden days. Ancient days of yore. Yeah. We had to do it like that. nice. I like it. Yeah, they're very cute. Sure doesn't make it easier. We were very intentional in choosing drawer pulls and handles that would not catch on your clothing as you walk by. We both hate that. So we chose like a really basic, really simple design. Okay, let's go have a look in the bus and see how those kitchen cabinet handles turned out. Look at that. OMG. I think it looks so good, especially with our black appliances. 
because I really felt like there's two black appliances on this side of the bus and nothing black over here. So I really wanted to put black handles and knobs. And this isn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted to put those little um, glass antique knobs on the upper cabinets here and also on the pantry. But then the ones that I ordered were not what I was hoping for. They're much bigger and stranger than what I was hoping for. So I don't know. I think I might end up using these on my closet in the bedroom, but I haven't decided yet. But for right now, we got all these cabinets done and I think they look great. So we just did all the upper and lowers, all the drawers and all the cabinets and all the same handles. <sighs> I think he did an outstanding job and everything looks great. Our little traveling tiny house gypsy caravan kitchen. It's the cutest thing ever. And by the way, things might be kind of weird for the next couple of weeks because we haven't been able to get the things we need to finish the projects we're working on in the bus. Like, um, I haven't been able to buy the fabric for the dinette seat cushions, and I still need more colors of plates to break for the sky part of the mosaic, and I can't go to the thrift stores now. So, I don't know how that's going to go. Hopefully this whole thing blows over and the stores are back open again soon or I don't know how we're going to finish this bus. Don't worry, we'll finish this bus.